Marvin Gaye is an icon. Motown legend Marvin Gaye was renowned as a soulful crooner whose songs of social protest have become timeless anthems. I was inspired by Marvin Gaye to be able to be true to myself as an artist. And I learned because of all the songs that he had written and we performed that he always had something to say and that there was always a story. And it was okay to tell your story. Born on April 2, 1939, in Washington, D.C., Marvin Gaye Jr. grew up singing church revivals under his reverend father. But it was his discovery by Barry Gordy in 1960 that brought Marvin Gaye into the spotlight. Marvin Gaye really mixed a lot of different genres. I mean, he, he was Motown, he was R&B, he was a little bit of pop. He was handsome and charismatic and had a voice that was like smooth. As a duet artist, Gay made major hits like It Takes Two and Ain't No Mountain High Enough. But it was his signature solo song like the 1968 number one hit, I Heard It Through the Grapevine, that established Gay as the Prince of Motown. When I think of Motown, I do think of Marvin Gaye as one of the top five artists. His sound and his music will be forever and recognizable. After the death of his duet partner, Tammy Terrell, in 1970, Gay turned a dark period into inspiration. In 1971, he released the landmark song, What's Going On?, which Rolling Stone magazine later ranked as the fourth greatest song of all time. Marvin Gaye's music has transcended genres to musical landscapes. I mean, What's Going On has proven that it was also very culturally and very politically active all across the board. In 1982, Gay released Sexual Healing, which became a crossover success and earned him two Grammy Awards. The following year, Gay launched his final tour. I was asked to go on Marvin's last tour and I was very, very excited. There was times when I missed cues because I forgot that I was in the band. He was just amazing to be able to grasp the audience in the way that he did. During his career, Gay had a well-known problem with substance abuse and a turbulent personal life. On April 1, 1984, while on drugs, he had a heated argument with his father and was shot and killed. Marvin Gaye Sr. was later convicted of involuntary manslaughter. When Marvin Gaye died, we lost a visionary. He was a strong voice against racism. He was really a role model. Rolling Stone magazine ranked Marvin Gaye number six on its list of 100 greatest singers. He was posthumously inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and later received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award.